Welcome to IOB 22, your course on digital product development. Hello, I am Jackie Bourgeois, Assistant Professor of Data Centric Design and a member of IOB 22 team. This video will introduce the course and explain what the study intends to bring, how you will work and with who, and what you should do to get started. You're going to become a designer of products, services, and systems which increasingly involve digital technologies, network, data, code, business models, development processes. As a designer, you need to offer credible and understandable solutions to the whole development team. How? That's what IOB 22 is about how to evaluate network technologies, model data and design software, craft a digital business model, play a vital role in the development process, and take responsibilities. IOB 22 provides the structure for you to learn digital knowledge and skills. By engaging in the course activities, you will make your way through the knowledge you want to nurture and the skills you want to develop. We set up the condition for you to safely explore and make your own experience while getting inspired by the work and insights from your classmates. The best way to illustrate the course reason is to walk through a typical week. It's Monday morning, 8.45, an exciting week ahead. You log on to Brightspace and check the activities. Let's see what is expected for this module. You warm up with a few videos, sometimes a demo and a couple of short lectures. You make this an active experience by sharing your thoughts, impression, reactions and questions with the other students on this course, our course forum. This is important for you to succeed. It helps you check your understanding and get inspired by questions from others. We help you get all connected with a mix of polls, fun tasks, and prompt to related topics. 10.45, time for group work. You connect with teammates in studios or via your MS Teams group channel. Then you log on Miro and create a new board for the exercise template. The template walks you through the group exercise to be completed. If you have questions, this is likely relevant to other groups. Check on this course if someone already asked your question. That's the case, but there is no answer yet. Just like it, so it gets more visibility and chance to be answered quickly. Otherwise, create a new post with your question. The teaching team might quickly visit to capture brief discussion to share with the classroom community based on your progress and questions. By noon, you synthesize your assignment in three parts, conclusion, reflection, and remaining questions. Beyond the detail of your exercise, this is the most important. What do you conclude and why? What did you learn? What are the questions that remain unanswered? Share this wrap up on this course with the link to your Maya board. Once you've worked through the video and the group exercise, it is time to think about the essential knowledge that you should remember. Yes, you are responsible for your learning, so you're in charge to identify these key elements. Formulate multiple choice questions and submit them. They will form a pool of questions for quizzes to check your understanding. Throughout the week, you practice your Python programming skills during self-study time. There is a series of five open source programming assignments for you to work on solo, then in pairs later in the course. Watch the introduction and connect to Replit to get started. At each stage, take your time to think about the task independently. Like all other activities, you can post a question on this course. Our Python theme will help you out. Do not hesitate to respond to other students' posts when you know the answer. Explaining to others is definitely the best way to check your understanding. If you understand what to do, but your program is not giving the expecting results, 
click on the Replit solution to compare it with your code. The Python programming assignment always ends with extra tasks to explore independently. Be proud of your achievements and share your code and its output on this course. Wednesday, 13.45, you can tune in via MS Team for the Python programming sandpit. Our Python support team will make some live demonstration and code explanation based on the popular question that you've been asking on this course. Let us know if you would like to present your work. Here again, you are in the lead. Post questions ahead of or during the live session. 14.30, you have dedicated time to take a quiz answering 10 questions selected from all questions submitted by students in the course. Make sure to give feedback, helpful or not helpful, so that the most helpful question gets selected first. You also have an extra hour of self-study during the week to read the book chapter suggested for the week. At all time, you can go back to this course and browse through the work of other groups. Which context did they select for their exercise? What are their conclusions? What does it supplement or contrast with your work? Ask questions regarding other works. Get inspired, understand the topic differently, and get rich from a wide diversity of examples. You will see our team prompting for questions and reactions. Make sure you provide feedback as you would like to receive it yourself. By Wednesday, 15.45, it is time to close the week. You are invited for a hybrid live feedback session. Together with experts and teachers, we will provide you with feedback and reflections on the topics of the week. Which group work mainly sparked our attention? What issues have been actively discussed on this course? What are tips and tops which will benefit everyone? We will also break into small rooms to discuss and answer some critical questions, which you will report in the wrap up to share with everyone. This weekly rhythm might sound unfamiliar to you. We aim to put you in control of your learning, the activities, our support on this course and the live events provide the structure for this learning experience. The more you engage with these activities, the better you will gain the necessary digital skills and knowledge for your career as a designer. So that's IOB 22 in a nutshell. You develop digital knowledge and skills by practicing solo and in group of five, getting rich from insights from the whole classroom community. What should you do next? Check out Brightspace and walk through the course information. Make sure you're signed up on this course, set up your profile and come say hello. I'm excited to invite you to the hybrid course introduction on Monday, February 7th at 8.45 via MS Teams and on campus.